During the past weeks, representatives of Austin Interfaith have met with the major candidates that are running for their office to discuss our agenda of issues from both their perspective and ours. They have received beforehand the questions they will be asked today so that you can be prepared to hear their response. Our expectation is that the candidates will be held accountable for their answers and commitments. If a candidate has agreed to support our agenda item, they will fight for it and create legislation to make it happen because they agreed to make this a priority. Before we turn to ask the candidates about their commitments, first a word about the nature of this commitment. Accountability is based on mutual trust. On one hand, we trust that when new candidates make commitments, they will be kept. For example, filing an ordinance, an amendment, or voting for these items when given the opportunity. In other words, we expect that you will leave. We do ask you to make commitments today without qualification. We now turn to our guests, the candidates, to see where they stand. I am Joy Pentecost, a member of Congregational Church of Austin. Each candidate will come forward individually to the microphone to give his or her reply as a yes or no. Answers that are equivocal will be scored as a no. Next set of questions has to do with community policing, homelessness, and accountability. Homelessness, will you support a repeal of the ordinances prohibiting panhandling, camping, and sleeping in public as part of a comprehensive plan to end homelessness. You may indicate any or all which you would vote to repeal. Second question, community policing. Would you support the police departments and the city's commitment to community policing? This would include attending an Austin Interfaith Civic Academy on community policing if one is held in your district and encouraging officers in your local area. Mr. Um, yes to community policing, yes to accountability with regard to the ordinances, um, yes to panhandling, and yes to repealing sit by. With regard to camping, I do think that's a conversation that we need to have with a broader range of stakeholders. I'm extremely concerned about what might happen if we. Um, if we remove that ordinance, I'm concerned that it will move toward uh, criminal trespass, which actually does impact housing, so it, it, people's ability to get housing. I will say I have been a champion for incre increasing our resources for individuals uh, experiencing homelessness, as well as moving forward some very important initiatives. In fact, that is the highest priority um, for my office and my work, and I will continue that. Ms. Togo, may I? Um make sure that we have your responses uh, correct in regard to homelessness. You are saying yes to repeal uh, panhandling, yes to repeal the prohibition on public sleeping, yes. but no on the repeal of camping. At this point, pending a discussion about it with Thank you. Thank you. Mayoral candidates, Mr. Adler and Ms. Morrison. Aspirationally, my answer is yes to all three. Aspirationally, my answer is yes to all three. Aspirationally, my answer is yes to all three. We have the same legal concern that the mayor pro tem has with respect to camping. But I will say this someone shouldn't be put in jail because they don't have a place to sleep. And in our city, the question here really needs to go further than the one you asked. Are we going to commit to provide housing for people that are homeless in our community? And the answer to that has to be yes. Because we have to give people an alternative. My understanding is that the courts have told us that, and agree with us, you can't discriminate on the basis of status. Yes on community policing so that we both can understand each other, and yes on accountability. I'm always meant to the faith and I always will. Thank you. Um, beyond, beyond aspirational. We would appreciate a clear response. Yes, on 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 community policing. Uh, yes, on community policing. Yes, on, on, on meeting with us. Meeting with, but 
on the three. Yes. Uh, yes on sleeping. Yes on soliciting. On camping, that is a more That would be a no. Question. Thank you very much. Ms. Morrison. Yes on all three. Thank you. Criminalizing homelessness isn't the answer. Housing and services is the answer. With regard to community policing, we know that that's the right answer. We have great, great examples of that working in the city and around the country. And with regard to accountability, not only will I, yes, I will absolutely be with you, but I will look to you all as a partner in, um, as, as the mayor, because I know that that's the way it worked when I was on the council, that uh, the resource of the voice of the community and the community needs coming through uh, Austin and Davis is very important. Thank you.